What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kane Brown, Curbside Mechanic. Out here getting my ass kicked by the 1.8 Turbo, Tony. Uh, just came back out to work on the car again. Was having difficulties getting out because of the weather. But we are out taking the uh, head off. And I'll tell you what I tried to do first. I tried to take the exhaust manifold loose. And realized that they had three bolts up here mocha actually told me and uh i said all right let me see if i can get those bolts off so took those bolts off uh basically separated the uh, turbo from the turbo manifold and now we are about to lift the heads off of here see how that looks give me just one moment this is the heat shell for the manifold all right Hopefully it's not too heavy. It's not coming up. Something's connected still. Maybe not. Push this back out the way. And here she comes. Look at it. Just like I thought. See these little dings right here? <laughs> these little nicks right here came from where it hit the valves. So, it's all good. We're going to go ahead and clean all that up. Got some uh, WD-40. And I also have some little scrub brushes. Not scrub brushes, but little sponges with the... Uh, Abrasive pads on the end. So I'm gonna go through, mess with that, clean up the surfacing or the mating surface. See if I could just bad way back up in there. What it definitely needs is a uh, oil change and some more cooling. But look at it, y'all. You can tell this car had a lot of age to it. Look at all the uh, buildup right here. Cooling looks horrible oil man all right so that's just the start so we're out here for tonight or for today gonna see if i can go ahead and get tony back together like i said i'm gonna come through clean up the uh mating surfaces see if i can clean up the pistons a little bit i don't know if i'm gonna worry about this right here too much i'm hoping that everything will be okay with it but uh i think i was wrong too that right there looks like one of the intake valves hit instead of the exhaust but give me a little bit and i'll be back with you so before i clean all that up i'm back up under the car i want to make sure i drain the uh coolant and stuff so leave this little knob right here helps with that I'm gonna let that drain. It's definitely not pink. I don't know what color that is. <laughs> Looks like kiwi lime. You may think something different, but I'm just gonna say kiwi lime to keep it uh kosher and cool for everybody to watch. All right, cool it is out. Next step, drain the oil. Go up under the car. It's a 19 millimeter socket. I already snapped it loose, I think. Yeah, it's loose. We're gonna go ahead and drain that. Do do do. do. Hmm. Doesn't want to come out nicely. Definitely tight. I have to check on that. Look 
it up under it. Up. Shot a little far there. Let's see. All right. Oil is draining. Let that drain for a little bit. Doesn't look too big. Definitely dark. I don't need to empty it, just need to get it down to a trickle. I want to get all this old stuff out. A little bit more. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Hello there. Just draining the oil and the coolant. All right, that's good because the wind is blowing. I don't want to have oil everywhere. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. Have a spray check. So, did you take this other part that's sitting in here out, or that's still in the car? I don't know what you're talking about. Give me a second. All right, that's good enough. Twist this bad boy back down. All right, oil out. All right, everybody. Uh, hold a second. Got the uh, head off, so I wanted to show you. Now, the reason why we weren't getting any compression before, look at the valve. They're all messed up. Hope you can see it. See how these right here are open? All of them are open at one time. It's supposed to be two and two. Like the two middle ones open, close. Two outside ones open and close. And it also looks like the exhaust ones are bent as well. I think these are for the intake. These are for these three are for the intake. These two are for the exhaust. You see how they're bent up? Let me show them that way. Yeah, Check it out from this side. So, angle down in there. You see that light? See. They're bent. Yes. You can look at it. Definitely. If you can Definitely. see it, I can see it. I can't really. I wish I had a flashlight to show you. But yeah, they're bent. Uh, probably be able to show you <laughs> later on down the road what happened to them or how they were. Because we'll end up taking this whole engine apart, or this head apart, rebuilding it, putting it back on the engine that's in the White Widow. And like I said, hopefully it'll be in smoky. So, that's out. We cleaned up the heads a little bit, or the pistons a little bit. We'll show them what that's like. They look a lot better than what they did. The two on the outside, of course, look better than the ones on the inside because we couldn't really get down in there. And I didn't want to turn the engine because I still had a timing belt and everything connected. So I'm going to get something to cover this up. We're done for the day, unfortunately, because going off of the Bentley manual, uh, we need to replace this particular gasket. And the three bolts that came off of the uh, turbo manifold. You can see it's kind of worn and brittle anyway. I don't want to bend it. It's going to break. I don't plan on reusing it. So, but yeah, the shot. So, we're done for today. Uh, we will continue this video once we get those bolts and this manifold or this uh, gasket. All right. Until next time. Or till later, I should say.